At various times, he was known as a scholar, a philosopher, a cultural ambassador, a prolific author, a religious leader, a spiritual teacher, a social critic, and a holy man. At the ripe old age of 69, His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, boarded an Indian steamship bound for America. Like so many who have come before, he arrived with only a few dollars, a couple of battered trunks, and a dream. But his was not the usual dream of freedom fame or fortune. Srila Prabhupada had a bold vision for the re-spiritualization of the entire Western world. He sought to transform the predominantly material consciousness of the West by transplanting the ancient religious traditions of India, first to America and then throughout the world. The seeds that this elderly saffron-robed holy man planted took immediate root and blossomed into an international spiritual movement that profoundly influenced the lives of millions of people. In just 12 years, from 1965 until he passed away in 1977, Srila Prabhupada circled the globe some 14 times, preaching, gathering disciples, and opening hundreds of centers for the study and practice of Krishna consciousness. In that time, he also managed to write and publish over 80 volumes of translation and commentary on the sacred texts that form the basis of Indian religious and philosophical thought, winning lavish praise from the academic community for his dedicated scholarship and profound insight. Today, his books are available in over 30 languages and are being printed at the phenomenal rate of 20 million copies a year. All of Srila Prabhupada's accomplishments were the result of his single-minded determination to make the science of self-realization both understandable and achievable, even in a world increasingly consumed by material values. By his tireless preaching, such fundamental spiritual concepts as vegetarianism, karma, and reincarnation have become widely understood and accepted. But Srila Prabhupada's struggle against all odds to establish a spiritual beachhead in the Western world is more than just a tribute to his fierce and vigorous resolve. His remarkable success was in great part due to an engaging personal warmth, a rare blend of deep moral strength and quiet humility that inspired both reverence and affection. Srila Prabhupada succeeded because his life and personality were the epitome of the ideal he set forth for others to follow. He could offer to everyone he met, not just a theory, but a practical way of living. At every moment, he was a true Acharya, a holy man who teaches others by example.